Hi, I'm Eric, and today we're here at FCPS's central office to meet a colleague who finds purpose in supporting and helping others. Let's go inside and meet her. We are here with Patty McLean, System Support Data Quality Specialist. Patty, we know that you're really busy and your title says system, so you're supporting all students throughout FCPS. So thank you for your time today. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Good, good. So before we talk about what you do to support our students and staff and our, the families of our students, talk to us a little bit about your background. What did you do before coming to FCPS? Before I came to FCPS, I was a sales rep and I worked for US Customs Service. And then I had kids and didn't want to be on the road. So I quit my jobs outside of the house and became a licensed daycare provider. Oh, wonderful. So after leaving that work, you came to FCPS and you've been with us for 19 years now. You first started at Governor Thomas Johnson High School. Talk to us a little bit about what you did there before coming to Central Office. I was the in-school retention monitor. And so if children needed extra support, they would come to me. They may come to me for half a day, they may come for a couple periods, but they would come and sit with me and others, and I would help them with their work and um, help them sometimes just get themselves back together. They would regroup and um, they just needed a little extra attention. Right. And then they would go back to class. Yeah. So how long have you been at Central Office now? I would say I, I made the transition about 2007, 2008. Okay. And you first started working as an e-school support specialist? Yes, yes, AKA the help desk. The help desk. So if any staff members, teachers, um, I don't, we didn't take phone calls from the public very often, but sometimes they would trickle in. Um, we were the first line of support. And e-school is our student data management system that you would help support and facilitate making sure information was accurate? Right, it's a student information system. And it's also, um, They've got a gradebook component of it too, so we pull the grades from the gradebook component. And so now for the past several years, you've been serving as the system data quality specialist. It's pretty close. Okay. It's a really long title. So the first part of the title is system support, uh -huh. and then the second part is data quality specialist. So talk about that, system support, data quality specialist. What exactly is it that you do now to support the school system? So I manage the student information system. I help manage the student information system. And the student information system can holds everything about a student. It's like a folder, if you will, a book of each student. And inside of that book, it has their demographic information, their grades, their interventions, any special programs that we're in. And so we have to set up the system to enable the data to be put in so then we can put out stuff like a report card or like a transcript or, um, you know, any other type of reporting, attendance information, that's all captured in the student information system. So you work with not just a team of one. Talk about the team that you work with. We're a very small team. We are small but mighty. There are six of us, and I don't believe there's anything in FCPS that we don't have our hands, hands in it some way or another. We, um, we have three developers, so if a FOIA comes in from the outside, outside and they're looking for some information that needs to be pulled from the student information system, we have a developer that will pull that information. We have a manager, and then we have me, and we have the eSchool help desk. And uh, like I said, we're, we're touching almost everything. So you mentioned a FOIA, and for those who are viewing who don't know what that is, Freedom of Information Act, so members of the community or even staff within the organization can ask for information that's not always publicly available, but it is available if it's requested. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. So how else does your team work together to support the work that you do and to support staff and students throughout the system? One of the things that we do that we're very collaborative with all the other departments. So we may be meeting with um, CII curriculum to discuss what courses that we're going to be offering next year and, and ways that we can make things easier and better for our staff and for our students. So they might come and say, hey, we need a screen to collect this data. And so they'll give me the parameters of what, what they want on this screen, and then I'll create this screen for them. And then the secretaries, the registrars in the buildings will, are mostly the ones that are inputting the data into the student information system. So we get requests from the 
early childhood education office, from curriculum, from the athletics department, all the different departments, if they need any type of data collected, a lot of times it starts with the student information system. That's wonderful. And it shows that it's, you know, we often call it behind the scenes, but it's that information we see that's right in our hands. Somebody's making sure we have access to that. Yeah. What do you enjoy most about the work that you do? My whole life I've been a volunteer extraordinaire. So if ever anything needed to be done, my mind was the first hand to go up to say, yes, I can do that. Yes, I can, I can coach. Yes, I can be the team mom. So I've always been very um, willing and able to help other people. And um, one of the things that we didn't mention that I do is I train the staff on how to use the student information system. And so it's very fulfilling for me to do a training and people walk away and go, oh wow, I didn't know I could do that, or that was great, thank you for your time. And you know, if we can train up our employees and make them more comfortable in their job, the better our retention rate will be and the more skilled that our staff will be. Because remember, my job is called data quality specialist. So the better I train them to do their job, the better the data is going to be. Yeah, and the more comfortable people are with collecting that information and making sure they're able to communicate it. So you're absolutely right. That professional learning that training provide does help with retention because people are more confident in the roles that they serve in. Yeah. Wonderful. My goal. Yeah. So Patty, one of the things that I know you also do, just more public facing for our families, is the online enrollment portal. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, during the pandemic, we needed to find a way to be able to allow families to still enroll their children without that face-to-face -face contact. And so we were tasked with finding an online enrollment portal option. And so we lifted it pretty quickly. It usually takes months to get this done, but you know, during that period of time, we were doing things really quickly to get them up and running. So we're now in year four of using the online enrollment portal so families can enroll their students on their cell phone, on their iPad, on their computer, and, um, and then it comes into the student information system. So they put the, the information in on their phone, a secretary reviews it, and then we deliver it to the student information system. So really, everything starts with that online enrollment. And that's something that was started a couple of years ago. We didn't have it before. Correct. We used it for a specific reason, and now we continue to use it because it it's convenient. Yeah. Okay. In speaking with Patty, it's clear her desire to help others is at the root of who she is. Patty trains our staff to use the student information system. She is guiding and helping them each and every day. Although no day is the same, Patty and her team are producing report cards, tracking information, and creating reports to be sent to the state to monitor the success of our students. Patty makes sure students have received credits, pass tests, and that their transcripts are in good shape so that they're ready at the end of their journey here in FCPS. Patty is also setting up the system for the following school year and organizing schedules for students. What Patty does on a daily basis is essential to Frederick County Public Schools. So Patty, is there anything else you want to share with us about the work that you and your team do to support the students, their families, and staff in FCPS? Thing I can say to the families and students of FCPS is that everything we do, we do with them in our minds, and we want to do it well, and we want to help them succeed. That's wonderful. Really appreciate that. And to our colleagues across the system, really appreciate the work of you and your colleagues within the department to make sure that we have accurate, up-to-date information, and that we also know how to use, for example, platforms like eSchool to find out about our students and to be informed about them and how to best support them. Thank you. Patty, thank you so much for everything that you do. You're welcome. Appreciate enjoyed our you. chat. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed learning more about what Patty does today as the system support data quality specialist here in Frederick County Public Schools. She ensures that the information we have about each of our students is accurate, that we deliver accurate information to their families, and that our staff is supported by the training that she provides. And it's not just work that Patty does, but it's the work of her small, and as she says, mighty team. We are fortunate to have Patty, along with other individuals working in our system accountability office, supporting the work we do each and every day for our students. Well, everyone, until next time, please continue to take care of yourself, take care of each other, and be well.